Hey guys, Rhett here, what is going on? I have such a treat for you today. A lot of people ask me, they say, Rhett, do you just do single families or do your clients also do multifamily and large multifamily and multifamily portfolios? The answer to that is yes. And I am here today at one of my client, Brandon's first apartment building. Guys, I'm so, so excited to bring this to you. This is a seven unit apartment building. He currently has under contract for $475,000. It's gonna need somewhere in the ballpark of between 50 and 100,000. We have contractors downstairs actually right now. That's why I'm filming upstairs, um, trying to hammer that number down. We're going unit to unit today. We just finished up here. I wanna do a video of these four units up here. Okay, right? One, two, three, yep, four units up here and three units downstairs with an attached laundry room which is actually great because in this instance, we can put three washing machines, three dryers, have them be coin operated. We already have a trustworthy tenant in here. Of the seven units here, six of them are vacant, which is amazing. One of them is occupied and the tenant is fantastic. She's great. Uh, the reason she's here is because she's great. So uh, my client, Brandon, he's acquiring this. This is gonna be his, we add these seven doors he's going to be at 15 properties, 15 doors total. Okay, this this uh, apartment building, when we're done with it, will be worth um, probably somewhere close to 750,000, if not uh, even a little closer to 800K. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna walk you through the units, talk a little bit about um, what they uh, need and what we're thinking about them. I think um, for all these units, guys, all these are two bedroom units. So they're all gonna rent from between 750 and 950. I know that's a large discrepancy. The reason for that is the square footage on these is gonna be smaller. So a single family home, we can rent for 900 to 975, but because these apartment buildings are and, and, and units are a little bit smaller, the square footage is smaller, we get the two bedroom price, but we get the bottom end of it, okay? Let's go through them, we'll go one by one. We're just gonna do the top units up here. I wanna show you just how drastic they can be, how different they can be. The challenges that uh, come along with acquiring small to medium sized multifamily like this and also the benefits, okay? So guys, let's come on in. So the original owner of this, there's no continuity among units and that's something that I would like to establish, meaning everything's different. So in some of the rooms we have, uh, our, our units, we have LVP. In some of the units we have carpet. In some of the units we have this kind of, of, of refrigerator. Some kind of units we have this color paint. I wanna keep it uniform. That way we can buy in bulk supplies, leave them in the supply room off the laundry room here. And that way when we send our maintenance crews out, they can come in here when we turn a unit over we can just, we have everything on site we need. It saves my client time and it saves them money, okay? So guys, in here, really, really good shape. LVP in here was actually done very well. This unit uh, is gonna need paint on the walls. It doesn't look like it, maybe from the video, but you know, it's beat up. It's gonna need some turnover paint. Nothing crazy, uh, just some touch-ups throughout the whole unit. We're gonna have to make sure that the appropriate window locks are on all the windows because they're not. So some of these windows just won't lock, which is an issue. Actually, there's a, 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 a stationary lock there, but that won't pass section eight. You can't do that, you need a, a, a lock right here. Um, so we have to do a bunch of section eight stuff to get these units ready. This unit overall is in really good shape. It just needs some small touch-up items. Um, otherwise, tile in here, that is something that is not fully uniform throughout the entire place, but most units do have tile, most have cracked tile. This is the only one without cracked tile, so we won't have to do anything in here. And then in these rooms, guys, we have LVP in the backs here as well, okay? Good shape, don't need to do anything here, uh, except put some locks on these windows that are Section 8 approved. We need a, um, we have, Closet door here, probably replace that, put a better one on there. Um, it has newer light fixtures. The bathroom is in good shape in here, okay? So, bathroom's nice. The bathroom is doesn't need too much work done either. Okay. 
And then bedroom number two guy is also in good shape. So this was uh, one of the first units that I walked in. I said, oh my goodness. Unfortunately, you know, my excitement is always curtailed when I walk into a unit that looks nice because the units downstairs are in horrific shape. But let's keep going on this row and uh, we'll continue to see what else this complex has to offer, okay? So guys, let's go right next door, how's that? Okay, so we have LVP in here as well, also in really good shape, really happy with this. One thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take all these nasty shades down, they're disgusting, covered in dirt. We'll clean up all the trim on all of them, okay? This, we'll need some paint touch-ups here as well. We have some flaking paint where it looks like there was a, a dresser um, or a big TV stand in the corner. Okay, so this room needs to be touched up. I wanna get these all the same color. So there's no reason why we have, uh, you know, a, a, a color in that room, and then we have a, a room here that's mustard color. It doesn't make sense. We're gonna make all these things uniform and clean. We're gonna make a lighter color, make the room look a lot bigger, okay? But otherwise, nice. In here, guys, flooring in here looks fine. Um, we're gonna take this uh, stove out of here, get rid of this. Most likely get rid of that refrigerator as well because it's nasty. Clean this whole countertop off. I, I think that we'll be able to salvage this when we clean it. If not, we'll put a new countertop on, no problem. Um, otherwise, all of the cabinetry, guys, keep in mind, it's outdated, right? It's definitely outdated, but it doesn't make sense to just tear this stuff down. It's good storage. People enjoy this stuff. When you have small units like this, it's not always the best thing to take this wall down here. This is also, uh, we, we could take this wall down. Uh, I don't want to. It's nice. I mean, we could, in theory, remove all this stuff. Right, but then people like this. It's, it, it, believe it or not, it creates more room for storage and more room to put things. When you have a small kitchen like this, I get a lot of positive feedback on stuff like this, believe it or not, even though it's outdated, okay? So, let's go into the, uh, into the rear bedrooms, guys. So, rear bedrooms here, um, they have carpet. We have a couple options, and I'll talk to Brandon about what he wants to do. We can rip the carpets up, put LVP down, or we can just put new carpets down. Uh, totally up to him. Now, if we were doing a normal apartment building that was non-Section 8, I would say a thousand percent, let's put down LVP. Because it's Section 8, we don't think we're gonna have the turnover here over the next 10 to 15 years. It's okay to do carpet too. Carpet's also a, a much cheaper alternative. I'm okay with that. If this was gonna be a, um, a cash apartment complex and not Section 8, I'd say absolutely no way. We 100% have to put LVP down in here. Okay, but I'm gonna leave that up to Brandon, all right? So guys, we'll put a new interior door in here as well. It's a piece of crap. Bathroom in here, the bathroom uh, looks fine. Um, and then obviously this carpet has to come up as well. Uh, it's extremely, it's got some issues with the subfloor right here. So um, we're gonna have to take this up. We're gonna fix the subfloor underneath there. And uh, same story, whatever we put in that bedroom, we're gonna put here as well, all right? All right, guys, moving on. As you can see, everything in the parking lot's empty. There's nobody here. And um, you know, it, it, it is a, a very nice quiet area, which I really like. Um, so, all good. I, I like a lot of this area. It's a quiet area. It's gonna be a great place where a lot of tenants are gonna to wanna to live. All right, now, whew, take a deep breath out here before I go in there. As you know, it's looked pretty good so far, right? And that rehab number so far, when you're talking about what the rehab cost is gonna to be to get these ready, is pretty low, right? It's nice and small until you walk into this. Now, this unit right here is what virtually all the units downstairs look like, okay? Come on in. So guys, <laughs> I would turn the lights on in here, but there aren't any. Oh my God. Disgusting. Um, so gross, right? I mean, holes in the walls, 
cigarettes, burns on the floors, nasty, disgusting. Someone was doing something, beating something up right there. Uh, there's a crack pipe on the floor. Don't get too close to it. There's a crack pipe over there in the corner. Um, if anybody wants a toothbrush, drop your name and your address in the description. I'm going to take it with us and I'll send it to you. Okay, it'll be 99 cents for that toothbrush. All right, I'll cut you guys a deal. So I can't turn anything on in here, but we need all new flooring in the kitchen. Uh, someone has ripped up all of the, um, all of uh, everything in here. So someone's ripped up all the tile, okay? New refrigerators needed, new stoves needed, um, new vent hood is needed here. We gotta clean up these cabinets. We're gonna take all this junk down. We need all new light fixtures throughout the whole house. Whole house needs to be painted. I absolutely despise this yellow wall color. Part of what makes this house look so outdated, guys, is really the kitchen and the colors and doors. If we swap the doors out and you know we can even paint these cabinets white, it changes the dynamic of everything. But we're gonna change the color of this unit to make it a lot more um, clean and new and fresh. All right? Now, um, yeah, this, I mean, every, guys, even the tile that is down, they're all cracked and when you, it's sticky and disgusting. And when you step here, you can feel the tiles moving underneath your feet. Okay. This is uh, disgusting. This disgusting, nasty dust all over this. We'll take this door out, put a new door in. Um, there are, uh, all these rugs are nasty and gross. We'll rip all these up. And again, we'll discuss what we want to do in regards to LVP or, or carpet. Um, all new light switches, all new outlet covers, just totally make this place better. Uh, the toilet's disgusting. It needs a brand new toilet. We're gonna change out the vanity. It needs new smoke detectors. It needs all new. All the, some whoever's living here took all the light bulbs. So, guys, I'm not gonna go in here. Look at this door. Oh my goodness, this door is gnarly. Look at that. I'm not gonna go in here because the the uh, the flooring's ripped up, and I don't know. Someone could have could have uh, had their last moments on the floor, which is maybe why it was ripped up, but this is the original subfloor. So what we'll do is we'll put whatever we want to put down. There's carpet in here too. You can see the, uh, the nail strips around the, ex the exterior of, of, the, um, of the area. So this whole room, of course, painted with everything else. New door here, um, all new flooring in here as well. The smell is horrific in here. This is a, Nasty unit. Okay. Whew. So guys, that uh, unit, everything needs to be done, which is kind of the, um, the interesting part about when you do apartment buildings like this, you can have units like next door that are beautiful and almost turnkey. And then you have units like this, which are a complete disaster and we need to do absolutely everything in. Now, continuing with that nice trend, we're gonna go back to the nice part of this. We have a very interesting unit. Now, if you guys have purchased um, small to medium multifamily uh, apartment buildings before, you've seen this. And if you have not, this is pretty cool. This is the end unit, okay? This is a lot of times when these units are built, sometimes the landlords would live here or the, or the apartment managers would live in this unit right here. This unit has a lot of cool uh, um, amenities that the other units don't have. So. Uh, you walk in, here's a living room. We're gonna clean this up, otherwise this is good. This unit has been more updated. As you can see, um, they've taken all that rack down and they've put a new countertop piece here uh, to give you a little bit of a bar. Reason for that being, and the reason guys that this is a little bit different is you don't have as much room upstairs here because um, you're in the corner. So you don't have as much room as those other units did in the living room where you put a kitchen table and a, uh, a living room space and a couch. So this is gonna double as a, as a countertop bar, which is why that they put that in here. Now, of course, the cabinets are still outdated. We don't plan on changing these, but we'll put a new light fixture in, put a new sink in here, clean up the countertops. The countertops are newer, um, and there's junk flying all around here. Needs a new refrigerator uh, and new oven as well. Okay, along with new light fixtures. So you walk around here, guys. We have bedroom number one's upstairs. Um, somebody was angry at the door. So we'll swap that door out, okay? We have our closet right here. 
LVP upstairs here. They did a nice job laying it. It's, it's good. You guys that watch my channel often understand how hard it is to find people who lay LVP the right way. They did that here, so that's nice. We're not gonna have to change that, uh, which, which is uh, exciting. Um, so we're just gonna do some touch-up work uh, throughout this unit. Of course, change light fixtures, change doors out, make it nice, clean it up. Bathroom in here is also in good shape. Um, the toilet needs to be clean, but it's fine and operating. The tub is gonna need a little bit of work. Um, and then the vanity as well is fine too, and, and newer, okay? Now guys, here's the cool part. Come on downstairs. So we're gonna paint all this on both sides, all right? We're gonna paint all these walls. Um, there's no power down here, but this is actually bedroom number two. So there's a current tenant that's living in this uh, unit. She wants to move into here. Uh, she's gonna help us out a lot, so we're gonna move her into this unit. Um, and this here is a closet. This is a nice big closet in here, storage space. And it actually, it, it, we have a window right here. We have it closed, we don't want people looking in here and seeing nobody's living in here. Um, but there's a nice uh, window right here. And we have a nice steel exterior door that lets you out onto that first level. So uh, very dynamic apartment building uh, and, and unit here for, for the manager of the building, which is really nice. And then guys, throughout it, you know, we just have little things. We got broken glass. A lot of the units have broken glass. Um, no window locks, no way to lock this window. Busted screens. I mean, just, just a lot of stuff that ends up adding up. Um, and then it's <coughs> downstairs. So we have four units up here with this end unit being how it is. Underneath us directly is the laundry room. Now, the laundry room, is based off the front of this unit, okay? As you saw, we went off the back of the unit. So the laundry room is directly underneath us right here. And then there are three more units going down underneath us. We got our contractors down there quoting up uh, those units down there right now. So we're not gonna go down there, but it's pretty much mirrored right underneath in regards to units, okay? Um, and guys, that, that's about it. Uh, I know this is, this is a little bit different from what's usually on the channel, but I want you to see that my clients do a ton of different things. And we buy units like this, no problem, get our teams in here, get our management companies to manage them, our contractors to get them ready to go, get the best tenants in them. We cash flow them. This thing's gonna cash flow for probably about 6,000 a month once we fill it up completely, which is gonna be a home run. We're gonna get an unbelievable return on it. And then my client Brandon's is probably gonna sit on it for a couple of years and then we'll sell it down the line for close to a million bucks. So pretty good guys, pretty good. Uh, please, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. If you guys want to buy stuff like this, you wanna use me and my team to help you onboard stuff like this from out of state without ever seeing it, send me an email in the description below. We'll get you started. See you next time.